Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another Jank-specific Super Mario video. Today, we're going to be checking out some of their brand new offerings from both the 4-inch line and the 2.5-inch line. And what I love most about this line is that you're really able to find them eventually. It's really not hard to come by. At GameStop now, you can grab Daisy and the Blue Shy Guy. They're also starting to ship in from Amazon as well. I'll put links down in the description below but I have to say in terms of character selection it's nice to have Daisy now in the four inch line whereas she was just available in the 2.5 inch line on the back side of course it'll give you a little bit of write-up about Daisy which I'll have more on that in just a few and you can see all the characters now in this new wave a lot of redos of course but a few new ones, and that's always a welcome addition, especially when you have the new blue Shy Guy. And yes, he is technically new, even though we have gotten a prior propeller-headed blue Shy Guy. But again, more on that in just a few. You can read up on the blue Shy Guy and how you can't see their faces and they're creepy. And the Shy Guys are really some of my favorite characters from the Mario franchise. Here's the barcode if you want to check for him at your local GameStop. Now, in the 2.5 inch line, I recently went into Target and ended up finding these, which is again, always nice to have. You have the Red Toad, which there's not going to be a whole lot of new here technically, but it's a new variation on Toad. So you kind of get it. If you've been collecting the Jack Specific Super Mario line, there's a lot of redos, a lot of color differences. You get the idea. Here's the barcode if you want to check your targets. And likewise with Baby Peach, that seems to be the one that everyone is kind of going after now. So that's, again, nice to find right off the bat. The backside, you get to read up on Baby Peach, which she will go nice with the Baby Mario if you have that from last year. And then finally, we have the Green Shy Guy. So multiple colors of the Shy Guy. They've done a ton of these green yeah, yeah, it's always nice to have a different colored Shy Guy. Again, there's not going to be a whole lot of new here, but 2.5 inch, 4 inch, hey, we got something to talk about. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at several new Super Mario action figures from Jack Specific's 4 inch and 2.5 inch Mario lines. Let's go! So now here's everything taken out of the packaging. You have the four inch figures, they get one accessory, and then you have the 2.5 inch figures that get no accessories, unless you're at five below and you have that alternate packaging where, yes, the 2.5 inch characters get an accessory, but that's neither here nor there because the blue shy guy comes with a coin. It is the umpteenth time we have seen this coin. A lot of coins in the old collection, I'll tell you what. The new blue Shy Guy, in looking at the prior release, the one with the propeller head, this one is a newer blue coloring. He has purple shoes, he's got brown on the bottom. But then, other than that, it's a Shy Guy you already have. If you, especially if you have the red Shy Guy's propeller or otherwise, you'll know that the articulation will be the same. He even has a little bit of waist along with the feet and the arms. You get the idea. One of these days, I would like to see a Shy Guy come with some fruits. The other green Shy Guy in the 2.5 inch line, again, nothing really all that new, except that he's like a pea soup green, and that's always nice to see. Again, a variance kind of like, we'll say Yoshi's Island, different colors. You can swap the waist, which will move the feet, the arms, He's a cool looking shy guy. All the paint is pretty solid on these so far, so that's a nice touch for Jack. Sometimes it goes either way. Baby Peach, though, I will say, is quite the standout, both in terms of the sculpts. You have really nice paint. You're gonna have minimal articulation. She's a little difficult to stand, but again, the sculpt, the paint, everything really makes up for it. Nice application of the eyes, the little rosy cheeks. She does have a pacifier in her mouth. Kind of looks like bubble gum as well, but it is a pacifier. All the jewels, every which way. Minimal articulation where the arms will go off to the side. You can turn her head. And then, like I said, she's a little hard to stand. So it's kind of a configuration of moving her little shoes around to get her standing because she's kind of top big headed heavy. You know what I mean? So have some fun with it and get her a standing. Now, in terms of red toad, there's not much here to say. It's just an alternate color for a toad. 
you get minimal, minimal articulation on this guy. But again, that's the fun of the 2.5 inch line. Not only do you have these characters, but then you get to put them in the various play sets that you collect. In terms of Daisy, you get a Starman. Again, like the coin, we have a dozen of these. Daisy, though, is a true standout along with Baby Peach in their respective lines. It's nice to have a four inch scale Daisy. All of the paint, everything looks good. Again, in talking about Jack Specific over the years, sometimes the paint can go every which way. The sculpt is really nice on her. The yellows of the dress, the orange highlights. She has basically just some feet sticking out at the bottom. No legs like prior peach figures. You get some pretty decent articulation in the head along with all that extra hair, although you can kind of see that the way it moves will clear the shoulders. The poofs of her dress are nicely done. They don't really hinder the articulation along with the hair, and it's nice in the actual elbows they are ratcheted this time around. So that's a nice bit of an upgrade for articulation in terms of Jack. She will also spin at the elbow. She has a little bit of a quote unquote ab crunch, it's more of a swivel, but it's a little bit more rotation than we usually see for a Jack specific figure. Nothing at the bottom. She's largely just hollow in the dress itself. But again, it's always nice to add a new character to the four inch line. Now in terms of the shy guys, just to kind of go over the colors and to really show you the difference here between these two blue shy guys. Again, one of them has the propeller head, one is the newer blue shy guy, but the newer one is more of a purpley blue as opposed to the lighter blue of the propeller head. And likewise with the red, propeller, non-propeller, it's gonna be the same shy guy figure. They're just gonna change the coloring on you, which, I really don't mind in terms of the Mario line. Now to show you the difference between Peach and Daisy, one of them being the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, the other of Sarasa Land. And in growing up, playing the Game Boy game, Super Mario Land, I always liked Daisy. And you had Princess Toadstool, but it was nice again to have a different princess, different character, to have her along with Peach, Mario, and the Shy Guys, Four inch line, 2.5 inch line. Scale is really not a thing in terms of the Jax Mario line. They semi get it time to time. It's really not a big deal, to be honest with you. But if you want to have Baby Peach with Princess Peach, even though that's kind of a time paradox, yeah, the 2.5 inch Baby Peach will look nice with Mario, Peach, and the rest of the four inch line. Go figure. I thought she'd be entirely too small but she looks pretty darn cool. And again, in terms of Daisy and Baby Peach and Mario, yes, the 2.5 inch figure will go with the four inch line, but that really doesn't apply to all the 2.5 inch figures. And one more thing to kind of point out is that I noticed that Daisy has a little bit more articulation in the head looking down along with that ab crunch, which just gives her a little bit more articulation value. And across the board for the 2.5 inch line, Yes, again, scale, not really a thing. However, in building up your levels, building up your Mario Lands, everything looks really solid. And speaking of Mario Lands, to say that I'm stoked for not only a 2.5 inch Daisy, but a four inch figure. These are the toys I grew up playing the games and always wanting toys. There wasn't toys for these games back in the day. You were lucky if you got tops of erasers, but again, it's always nice to revisit these, and I hope that Jack Specific one day makes toys for all the old Game Boy games, especially Six Golden Coins. So, that'll wrap it up for my look at several new Jack Specific World of Super Mario action figures, both in the 4-inch line and the 2.5-inch line. Maybe a few changes here and there, for the love of God, Give the Shy Guys some fruit or some other different accessory that better matches the video games. Overall, the paint, the sculpts, the variation of colors, I don't mind it. I'm always happy with the Jank Specific Mario line. Keep bringing them on. I want to see that King Boo set. They have a new Mario level that's on Amazon UK. It looks pretty cool. It looks like it's based off of the old original ending of the very first Super Mario Brothers level. Sky's the limit. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Super Mario. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, we need a Super Mario Land 3. Let's see that happen, Nintendo, because Wario, he's running around like he owns the joint. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.